Okay, so this is the big box. Let's begin. I'm going to first remove all the outer covering and then uh, open one box at a time. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one aside. I have no idea which guitar is what. I'm going to find out with you guys. Uh, I ordered one Stridum and I think one... I don't know what the other guitar was. Let me find out. For the kids. So, let's see. Two uh, entry level acoustic guitars. So, makes for good uh, unboxing material. Let's see what's inside. I don't know if I ordered two hex guitars. Ooh, look at that. So, that's a Stridum in a hex box. Interesting, interesting. There you go. Cute looking uh, case. This is the Magna pouch that came with it. All right, keep that aside. Let's see what's inside here. Just let's see what's inside the pouch. A tuna, cloth. Very nice, very nice. Anything else? Some plectrums. Very cool. We're going to enjoy that. A land wrench. I'll just put that inside there. Makes life easier, so don't forget it. Ooh, looksy, looksy. So, this is uh, the entry level uh, budget guitar that I bought for some of the ashramites. Let me check that. Okay. Looks intact. Any dings, dongs, scratches on this? No. Okay. Let me open this paper. So this is the Stridum Music P240CMM. Professional crafted guitars. Designed in USA. Not bad. Scratchy frets, but Great, it's nice. Action's a bit uh, high for my liking, but more more than enough for uh, a student. Uh, let me see. Yeah, looks about two. So that's definitely doable. Nice, very nicely set up. Okay, on to the next box. Okay, to the next box. Let's see what's inside here. So this is the XF72, another guitar that is to be uh, given out to the students. So let's see how it sounds, how it plays. Surprisingly, these tuners are not catching properly. Yeah. Tune. This 
This is set up a lot better. Um, no thread ends, nothing like that. Interesting, very interesting. Um, again, yeah, like I said it's set up better, but it's actually the same too. It's nice. On to guitar number three. All right, so we're on to guitar number three. <laughs> let's see what could, can it. So let's see what can it be. Guitar number three. I'm a poet and I know it. No, I'm just kidding. Surprising bit is, it's a hex. And since it's a hex, shouldn't it be in a hex case instead of a Kepma case? Kepma. Hmm? Hmm? The thing. As long as it arrives in one piece, I'm not that picky. So before I open this guitar, I want to talk a little bit about it. Let's see what's inside the box. It's a cap man or it's a hex. Okay. So, yeah. Beautiful looking guitar. Very nicely packed up. Very good job. All right. Um, any case candy? Can we give me some case candy from a sweet tooth? Only a lion wrench. Why? Why? Oh, they'll give us something. So I guess the hex guitars don't come with much. So when I saw the site, I saw that there was this um, parlor shaped guitar uh, by hex, which had, as you can see over here, the 12th fret right on the body. Now that's a genuine parlor, okay? That's not one of those, uh, let me see, where is this problem? No, it's okay. That's a genuine parlor guitar, okay? And it looks stunning, my God, man, look at that. That's amazing. Wow. Oh. Scratches, breaks, always good to check once, right? So anyway, the action is super high and strings are rusted. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good, man. That is not good. There's something floating around in here. Whoa. Piece of wood. Okay. This just came out of the guitar and... Alright. And silica gel. So now I'm just a little worried. Did anything come off? Hmm. Hmm. Guess not. We'll find out later. Anyway, so very responsive tuners. In tune. Solid top instrument. I've seen many parlor guitars, so called parlor, parlor guitars, uh, that have the 12th fret at, uh, you know, just above the body, not like smack on the body joint and the neck and body joint. And that's really not a parlor, that's like more like a mini or a baby or a travel friendly guitar. This is a proper parlor shape. I'm really, really, really happy, you know, with it, looking at it. Looks beautiful, okay. Um, I do have other mini guitars that uh, are not parlor shapes, okay. But, uh, wow, that looks cool. I'm very happy that, uh, you know, they sent this across. I asked them to send this across for the review and I get to keep it. And uh, I bought the other two guitars. I'm going to review those as well. But all in all, it's been sent very nicely. As usual, no qualms about uh, the packaging from uh, Procraft India. If you are looking to pick up some guitars uh, from their site, uh, I'll leave a link in, uh, you know, the description below. You can go and check that out. Um, but yeah, really, really, really kicked about this one. Okay, and we're going to review those two guitars along with some of the other uh, guitars that I got in the last unboxing and we're going to just like, you know, take out the videos as soon as possible. All right. And um, yeah, looking forward to uh, featuring this. This this is something that I'm going to set it up nicely, change the strings. Definitely. That was a bit of a bummer that these strings are rusted. But other than that, um, looks beautiful. Maybe a little bit of... Uh, you know, just a little bit of F1 oil. Let me check the thread ends. Very nice. 
Very nice. No problems. With that, please. Beautifully. I just think that uh, the Hex guys, I mean, look, honestly, you, you have the same budget as Stridum. And uh, you are providing, I mean, they are providing some very good uh, quality for the money. But I think they should add on a few more accessories, like maybe some picks and, you know, anything. I mean, it would just feel a whole lot better than just having an empty uh, bag. But all in all, hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and check it out. It's a beauty.